News 5 at 11. Okay, here we go. The countdown is on. Less than one hour now until 2020 comes to an end. This is a live look at Times Square. Uh, much less crowded than usual. No spectators allowed. Thanks for spending your final hour of the year with us. Hi, everybody. I'm Rob Powers. And I'm Courtney Gooseman. Here at home, the celebrations are much more muted as well, with restrictions in place due to the pandemic. News 5's Emily Hamilton is live in Tremont. And Emily, what is things? what have they been like tonight? Well, Courtney, typically places like Tremont, Ohio City, downtown, and the flats would be packed with people counting down to the new year. But as you can see, it looks like people have packed up and headed home and things look more like a ghost town tonight. Like all celebrations since March. Normally I have a party on New Year's Eve, but with all that's going on with COVID and everything, I just felt it would be best, you know, just to let everybody do their own thing. Ringing in the new year has quite a different ring to it. We've got drinks to go, we've got champagne to go. Rocco Whalen, owner at Fahrenheit in Tremont, is doing all he can to keep his business afloat. We're in and out, we're about 50% capacity, which is better than nothing. While adhering to COVID-19 guidelines by both the state and federal government. 20 is different, and we all know that, and we all have our plexiglass and our masks and our PPE, uh, but we pivot, we do what we need to do. The key variable, Ohio's 10 p.m. curfew. I'll just be home in my PJs with my dog and if my son gets home before midnight, I'll have a glass of wine and, you know, just good riddance to the old and bring on the new. Of course, everything's closing at 10 o'clock, so I'll probably ring in the new year at home. Which Governor Mike DeWine has extended multiple times. The new New Year's Eve is now at 9 o'clock. you got to push things up a little bit. So typically without the curfew, we do some, you know, bar entertainment, drinks, cocktails, after dinner drinks. So it's been a challenge for all restaurants, not just this restaurant. And ending a year of financial and emotional stress on a positive note, Waylon is choosing to close the 2020 chapter and look ahead, grateful for support from loyal customers. It's a very trying time for the industry, but also it's an opportunity for us to learn from it, come back better than ever, but be, you know, forward thinking. I hope everything just looking towards spring, summer, fall is back to normal. We're not wearing masks again. We can see people smile and we can enjoy each other and get back out and hopefully, you know, the economy will improve. Cheers. So with that 10 p.m. curfew, it's been pretty quiet here in Tremont for the last hour. And just a reminder, just yesterday, Governor Mike DeWine extended that curfew again, and that 10 p.m. curfew is in effect until at least January 23rd. Reporting live in Tremont, Emily Hamilton, News 5. All right, Emily, happy new year to you. Get home safely. And like Emily said, that curfew is in place right now. That means you should only be out for work, school, medical needs, or essential goods like groceries. Agents from the Ohio Investigative Unit are out right now looking for curfew violations at bars and restaurants. Ohio State Highway Patrol also has extra enforcement on the roads, keeping an eye out for impaired drivers. And one more live look right now, a beautiful, quiet public square. Not as many people out and about as uh, we would usually see. And it's dry out there now, wow. but New Year's Day, it'll look a little bit different. Chief Meteorologist Mark Johnson from his home studio. Mark, I uh, hope you had a great anniversary dinner. Yeah, it was very, very nice. I'm kind of full now. I'm kind of uh, ready for a nap, if you will. But let's Rub talk first about all about what's coming our way for New Year's. Yeah, there you go. Here's the low pressure, the big winter storm. It's right now over Dallas, Texas, and it's going to slide to our north and west during the day tomorrow. Sleet, freezing rain, and snow will be the beginning of the precipitation for us. And you can see right here and all around our area, We've got winter weather advisories coming our way. Rain will be the majority of the weather story tomorrow with this winter storm coming into northern Ohio. But for a few hours tomorrow morning, the temperature will be 32 degrees or slightly lower as that rain moves in. And you know right at the surface, if it's lower than freezing, any rain that falls is going to be in the form of some ice. So we have to watch for that. But in the meantime, we are dry overnight and by sunrise tomorrow morning will be 27 to 30 degrees. And then the rain comes in and we'll show you that to you hour by hour coming up.
All right, thanks so much, Mark. About 50 people spent their New Year's Eve protesting in front of the Justice Center in downtown Cleveland. They tell us they're protesting poor conditions and mistreatment inside the jail. It's been plagued with issues for years, prompting an investigation by the state and U.S. Marshals. Recent inspection reports say the jail has improved, but protesters say the whole system needs to be overhauled. We really want to get folks out of here and stop punitively penalizing people and start working on the root causes of why they end up here. And because regardless, you may remove the people, but you do not remove the problem. The protesters say they were trying to make lots of noise so the inmates could hear them and know they have support. Thousands of people will get some disappointing news if they tried to sign up to get the COVID-19 vaccine through this website. Cuyahoga County officials say the website's legit, but it was not meant to be shared publicly. That link was only supposed to go to a small group of people qualified for the first round of vaccines. Somehow, though, it got sent to thousands of others who signed up for time slots. One woman says she wasn't really sure if this was real, but she didn't want to pass up the opportunity. I'm a skeptic, which is why I was kicking myself for like signing up. But then, you know, you're like, it's my old parents and I really want them to get the vaccine. Cuyahoga County Health Commissioner says those who do not qualify will be sent cancellation notices. Mm, and a Wisconsin pharmacist has been arrested, accused of intentionally ruining more than 